Hello, I'm Antonio Neves for Sports School. Coming up on Coaches and Parents, every player is unique. Every child is an individual. Their taste in food, clothing, and music vary. The same is true for sports. Kids respond differently to different aspects of athletics, and it's important to honor those differences. My favorite thing about basketball is being able to beat the other team and being able to score a lot in the games. I like the sport, it's really fun. You get to play with your friends. For coaches, honoring each individual player may seem daunting. That is probably one of the, the challenging things, um, dealing with the different gymnasts and how they perceive fear and deal with fear and those types of things, that's also a challenge as well. You really need to understand that you're going to have 15 individuals or 10 individuals or 20 individuals on that team. And you do have um, a lot of different emotions, a lot of different uh, personalities with these kids. So understanding that and having a plan for that is important. When you're trying to build a team, you can't always give each and every individual everything that they would ideally want. You have to be able to treat everybody fairly, but that's not always the same as treating everybody exactly the same. So as a coach, uh, maybe you as the head coach or an assistant coach actually has a sheet of paper with all the players' names on it, and throughout the game, you note things that they're doing well, and then the next practice, or even right before the next game, you read off of the positive chart. Here's what David did well. Here's what Kevin did well. Here's what Sydney did well. And that fills the tanks of the people on the team. You can do that whether it's a win or a loss. So making sure you still find some positives, even if it is about effort or honoring the game in a loss. Coaches, stay flexible in how you motivate. Give attention to all players regardless of skill level. Don't compare athletes to each other based on skill or lack of skill and praise each athlete's contributions. And parents, don't make assumptions about your child's sporting experiences. Ask about likes and dislikes, thoughts and feelings, and most importantly, listen. Adam, at least this guy is pretty calm and I don't usually get as much as nervous watching my second one as my first one. He's just a little more easygoing and he pretty much handles the tense situations as well as he does the the loose one, so not, not as much here. The one thing is know your kid. How do they feel? A lot of them can feel pressure after winning because they feel like I gotta do it again. A lot of them feel elated that they pulled it off, that they were able to do it. Celebrate with them. There's parts of participation that are exciting for every kid. For an athlete that may not be as good as other athletes, it may be they have a friend on the team. So I would want a parent to focus on, you know, you're going to see Elizabeth today, or you're going to see John today, or, you know. For the kids that are, that are probably more athletically adept, I would say, you know, you're going to get a chance to try that new move today. So, you know, some encouraging talk, but not over talk about the game. How do you want me to support you? You know, a parent can talk to the kids actually about that and get a lot of great insight. So I would say you need to know your kid. You need to know yourself. You need to know what'll work for that kid to give them the best experience and the best chance to go in and have fun. Another thing to keep in mind when dealing with children in sports is that as they grow older, their needs change. What works for a five-year-old may not work for a 15-year-old. Would you suggest that you should focus on winning with third graders? I wouldn't. With sixth graders, mm, yeah, it's getting more competitive. The 11 years old, they can handle it more, but I would not recommend it for four-year-olds or five-year-olds or six-year-olds. What do they care? About? 
And so if I'm on a one in 12 team, when I'm 13 years old, it matters to me. I want to do better um, when I get up to bat or if I'm playing soccer. If I have an opportunity to score a goal and I do it, it matters to me. Whereas a kid, will, you know, younger child will shake that off. Let the child determine how fast he wants to go. Let the child determine what he wants to be doing. You as the parent, just steer the car so that the ride is smooth and everybody has the best chance of getting to the destination. To get the most out of each and every athlete, take a little time to get to know them as individuals. It can make a big difference in how well the team performs and how much fun they have. I'm Antonio Neves for Sports School, where sports are always in session. Yeah,